spinach skillet omelet this morning. And right now, I am browning up some, a piece of bacon I've cut up. Put it in the pan and brown it for a couple minutes. And my ingredients will be, today I have to use frozen spinach, but I prefer fresh spinach. Uh, about a little over a half a cup of the O'Brien potatoes. Two eggs, which I will whip up. And one slice of jack pepper cheese. And it takes a few minutes. And then what I like to do while I'm browning the bacon is I will dab with a paper towel the grease. We don't need all that bacon grease. In there. See how it's slowly browning. Just enough to get it lightly brown. Like so. You don't want it all the way brown because you're going to be putting in the potatoes and the spinach and covering it and the bacon will still cook. So here I am dabbing the grease bacon a little bit. It's only one slice of bacon is all you really need. Sometimes people like to put two. Your preference on your bacon. Okay, so I dab most of the bacon drippings. Now, now I will add my O'Brien potatoes into the pan. Get it all out of there. And the frozen spinach. Okay, see now that, that's frozen like that. So what we need to do, this takes a few minutes. Now if you had the fresh spinach, it would cook a lot faster. But in this case, I didn't have any fresh spinach on hand. So what I'll do now is turn down my heat a little. I want it to simmer. I add a little. to whip up my eggs. I'm using two eggs because it's only one small little omelet. But if you want to double the order, you use four eggs. So we whip the eggs until they're time to prepare like fruit or toast or whatever else you want. We'll yeah. stir it. This is actually a very flavorful omelet too. And pretty simple for a quick breakfast. And what I'm doing right now is just waiting on that spinach to in the microwave, cook the spinach, and then pour it into the pan if you're in a hurry. But in my case, I like to just do it simple on one skillet. Okay, I'm going to check, see if the spinach is cooked, with the, along with the potatoes. And it looks like it's, the way you can tell is to take 
bite into the kale. Make sure it's done. And which his case, it's done. Takes about three, four minutes at the most. And like I said, if you have fresh spinach, it probably would cook a lot faster. But always test your potatoes because they were frozen. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I've got my eggs, which I whipped. Okay, and I'm going to pour it into the pan. All over the pan. Okay. And I'm going to take the pan slice of jack pepper cheese, which I prefer because it gives it a little spice. Lay it on the top, cover it, and make sure my heat is turned down low. So it gives a chance for the cheese to melt, which about a minute. Okay, then what I do is I like to take a little bit of water, just Maybe a tablespoon or so. And once the cheese has melted a little bit, and you can see that the eggs are just about cooked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold over the omelet, just like so, very carefully. And I will add just about, I'd say, a tablespoon of water just to steam it, like so. Put my lid back on and let it steam for about 45 seconds to a minute. So it lets the omelet fluff and everything cook on the inside, which in a minute you will see the egg omelet is cooked. I have my plate prepared and I will check this in another 15-20 seconds. Okay. Time for the cheese to melt on the inside. Voila. We're going to just take it out, slide it out on the pan, like so, and there you can see bacon, spinach, skillet, omelet, and I like a little salsa on the top for flavor. 